The wolf barb is an endangered species of fish, which is uh, native to China and Laos only, but it is now extinct from China. So the only hope for the long-term conservation of the species is in Laos. The cause of this project is to develop a scientific knowledge and understanding the abundance distribution, life cycle, and the trait of data poor energy species, Lucio Cyprina stilolatus. We focus on studying the species in Nam Park River, tributary of Nam U, uh, in Udom Sai province, as well as Nam Nuong uh, watershed, uh, which is a uh, tributary of Nam Kading uh, River in Bali Kamsai and Kamwan provinces. We conduct a fisher interview to understand the fish species presence and absence in the river. And then we conduct a species survey by collecting eDNA water sample collections and analyze in the lab. Collecting specimen to develop DNA primer using hook and light lure fishing to catch the fish and tag and then monitor by the local officials. We have been working in Dusai, especially in the Nampak River Basin from uh, March 2022 to uh, August 2023. And during these uh, 18 months, uh, we've been working with uh, a total of nine villages, including uh, six villages for the fisherman interview, five villages for the creation of fish conservation zones, and eight villages for the habitat and uh, eDNA survey. The lower Nam Park is located near the village and can be accessed by the road. However, in the upper river is located uh, in the National Production Forest Area. And the distance from the survey site is difficult geography. Trekking on the several mountains to reach to the river. Today, we have no luck on fish catch. Uh, along the river, we have observed that uh, some uh, villagers set up the fire and the camping and also uh, fishing in this area before we arrive. So it's quite difficult to catch uh, Lucio Cyprinas or Wubab. This is the first day that we arrive to this area uh, in Nam Park and this is our fishing team uh, using uh, lure fishing uh, we have casting technique there's no uh, any fishers do like this before in kamwan province we conduct our research at nakai national park which is required minimum six hours on a local boat in Namtun River to reach to the uppermost villages. We know the species uh, occurs in Naka Namtun National Park, uh, but again, we don't have any current information on its distribution or uh, population status. The goal and the hope is to uh, develop future activities and future uh, conservation plans for the species at the site level so it can continue to occur for the long term. ดื้อที่ 4 ที่ 5 
นอนสี่คืนไปเอาปลากลับแต่มื่อนี้ถึงมือที่ฝ้าเดดออกคาดการว่าคงจะได้สั่งจากการเดินทางทริปในทั้งนี้ตื่นอีกเนาะ Our research team caught uh, three uh, wolf buff by hook and line uh, in Namtun River in January this year for the tag and release programs. However, we face many challenges during our research: bad weather, tourist anchors, catching the fish before we arrive at the site. Therefore, we are unable to catch many adult fish. For the sites in Bali Kamsai Province, uh, is relatively easy to access via the pickup trucks with a minimum travel three hours from the Sai c h a m p o n t a o uh, The river is relatively small, uh, reaching about 40 to 60 uh, meter wide, with uh, several uh, deep pools, boulders, and gravel substrates. During two years' projects. We collect 55 eDNA sample on the site, where the local fishers report finding fish in the past. Currently, we have uh, collect eDNA sample in six liver and confirm the presence of the species in four of them. In addition, hook and live fishing for adult species has report evidence of the catch in four river. In b o l i k a m s a i and Kamwon provinces. Unfortunately, we could not confirm the presence of the wolf barb in the Nampak River basin yet, neither through the eDNA survey nor through direct catches. And the last time we have confirmed the presence of this species in this area, uh, it was in 2020 and 2021, thanks to uh, direct catchments uh, from uh, local fishermen. However, we think that there are still uh, a A remaining population in the Nampak River Basin, uh, but if this uh, population is still there, uh, they are facing multiple interrelated threats. The survival of many fish species are being threatened by a variety of factors. Habitat loss is a major concern, with the loss of deep pools and spawning ground, as well as degradation of habitat. Overfishing is another key issue, which impact on food prey. The prevalence of uh, illegal fishing, the lack of continued funding support for the conservation projects, the mining activity, the effect of climate change, including uh, flood and droughts, all contribute to the ongoing challenges for the conservation of the species. Another threat in the future would be uh, the potential building of dams in the upstream parts of the river basin. And if these uh, dams are built, uh, they would probably totally disrupt uh, the local uh, biodiversity. We uh, strongly believe that without any conservation intervention, uh, the species could go extinct in the near future in Laos. So the project has put the spotlight on the wolf barb, but more broadly on the importance to protect the aquatic life. And we hope that thanks to this project, the local knowledge on uh, the threats faced by the aquatic ecosystems uh, has been uh, strengthened. There is a need for more work uh, in terms of advocacy in order to update the current regulations at local level, but maybe also at national level. This project has uh, important results and insights to uh, inform these uh, future policies. One of the main uh, recommendations uh, that uh, the project could uh, provide is uh, how to uh, actively and efficiently involve the local communities. Within the conservation of the aquatic life, and uh, the project could also provide 
important uh, recommendations on how to address the multiple interrelated threats faced by the uh, aquatic biodiversity. Thus, there is a need uh, for uh, upcoming actions, but these actions should be participatory and uh, holistic in order to reach greater impacts in terms of uh, conservation of the aquatic ecosystems. Thank you.